Hi everyone, this is Suman from Decode Now. Welcome to this video where we'll be implementing cron jobs using cron expressions in Java Spring Boot. If you haven't watched my previous video where I've explained all the theory concepts regarding this implementation in detail, I've explained what are schedulers, what are cron jobs, what are cron expressions, and also the syntax of cron expressions in detail. If you want to familiarize yourself with those concepts before the implementation, please watch the suggested video on the top right of your screen. If not, let's jump into the implementation. So here I have a Spring Starter project which is download fr downloaded from the Spring Initializer tool. So Spring Initializer is a very user-friendly tool which is built from by the Spring team itself. So for all my Scratch projects, I download the Starter project from there. If you want any guidance with uh, downloading this Starter project, watch this particular uh, video. I'll just take a three seconds pause so that you have your uh, starter project setup ready. Hope you have the setup ready. So in the form.xml, just add one dependency that is the Spring Boot starter web. So this is all the dependency that we will be needing for this particular project. And in the main application, let's add one annotation. The annotation is nothing but enable scheduling. So this enable scheduling is provided by the spring work scheduling annotation. And what it says is this enable scheduling feature for this particular application. So we just have to mention this at enable scheduling in the main application. Next, we need to create a class where we'll be uh, writing our schedulers. So for that, let me just create a new package and give it a name as schedulers. And inside this schedulers, I'll just create a Java class and call it as my schedulers. So I want to annotate this particular cla uh, my schedulers class with the annotation called at component. So what does this at component annotation do? Basically, in the Spring framework, the at component annotation is used to mark a Java class as a Spring component. So as soon as I mentioned this particular add component annotation for this my schedulers class, it says that this my schedulers class is a spring component. What does spring component mean? Spring components are automatically detected and registered during the component scanning process. So this particular uh, class will be automatically detected and registered as component during the component scan. So this is the use case of add component annotation at the class level. Next, I'll just write a method. Let me say public. It returns nothing. It just prints a statement. And I would call it as cron job. And it accepts no parameters. So what this particular method does is it just prints out a statement saying system.out.println. It just says uh, scheduler executed. So it's, it just prints this statement. So how to turn this particular method as a cron job or a scheduler? That can be done with the help of an annotation called scheduled. So let's just have a look at what this scheduled annotation does. So basically the scheduled annotation is used in Spring Framework to define a scheduled task. So basically this particular cron job, sorry, the method cron job becomes a scheduler with the help of this at scheduled annotation. And this at scheduled annotation is used at a method level, whereas the component annotation is used at the class level. So there are three other fields mentioned here. One is the initial delay. The second one is the fixed rate. And the third is the cron. So what is this initial delay? So this initial delay field accepts a value in terms of microseconds. Uh, for example, let me say I give the initial delay value as 10 seconds. What does that mean? It means that as soon as our application starts, give a break of 10 seconds and then start the cron job or then start that particular thread re related to that cron job. That is what this initial delay is for. Next, we have fixed rate. This also accepts values in milliseconds. So fixed rate, we uh, let's say we set the fixed rate as five seconds. So that particular cron job executes itself every five seconds at the this fixed rate as the name itself suggests it executes that particular cron job 
at that particular interval. So fixed date is nothing but the time interval at which we want to run that particular cron job. Last we have cron. So this accepts a value of string which is nothing but our cron expression where we will have certain six, six fields which represents different time units. So it analyzes that particular cron expression and based on that it uh, executes the following cron job. So this was all about at scheduled annotation and the fields that we can pass in into this annotation. So for first let me just add this initial delay and I will set the values value as 5 seconds which is 5000 milliseconds. Then I will add something which is fixed rate and pass the value as 2 seconds. So what I am basically saying is whenever I run this application for the first 5 seconds do not do anything after give it a delay of first 5 seconds after that run it every 2 seconds the fixed rate is specifying the time interval at which we want to run this particular cron job so let me just run this application and see whether it is working as expected so our application is starting and if you observe for the first 5 seconds it won't do anything so the application started and after 5 seconds if you see for every 2 seconds it starts executing you see every 2 seconds we are getting this particular scheduler executed let me just make this small caps okay let me just stop my application to better understand this initial delay i'll just extend it to 10 seconds which is 10,000 milliseconds and I will run my application. Now for the first 10 seconds we won't see any uh, statements that is the scheduler executed then every 2 seconds we will see scheduler executed statements starting. So now you can see that it is waiting for 10 seconds then the execution started and the next every 2 seconds it prints those statements. So this was all about the initial delay and the fixed rate field. Now let's look at this cron field. So this cron accepts a type of string. So let me just say cron and pass in a string. Inside this string we have to pass a cron expression. So for that let me just say star slash 2 space star space star and the star goes uh, another 5 times. So that's 4 and we have the 5th star. So it basically accepts six fields and here the first field represents seconds and star slash two means nothing but run this every two seconds. So there are other special characters as well. Here the asterisk means uh, every. So if you want to understand more about cron expressions and its syntax and other special characters, watch the suggested video on the top right of your screen. So let me just run my application. The application is starting and you can see here every two seconds the scheduler is getting printed. What I mean by that is the scheduler executed uh, statement is getting printed every two seconds. So this is how you use the scheduled annotation with both the initial delay, fixed delay or the fixed rate and uh, fields and also the cron field with the help of cron expressions. So let me just stop my application and close the console. So this was all about the implementation of cron jobs using cron expressions. We learned about the at component annotation, at enable scheduling annotation at the main class and also the at scheduled annotation at the method level and also the different fields that it accepts like fixed rate, initial delay and also the cron where we pass in the cron expression. So this is how we schedule the recurring or the repetitive task in Java Spring Boot. If you have learned something new, please do subscribe to our channel and support us. If you have any questions, suggestions or requests, please do let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video. See you in the next video.